So in this video, we'll be talking about one-way doors. And one-way doors allow you to complete missions without the use of an extra motor. So this is a basic example of a one-way door. So we have a door, which is basically a piece on a hinge that can open and close. And the one-way part of the name comes from it's only allowed to open one way and it gets locked the other side. As you can see, there's a little piece right here that's blocking it from going back. So this simple contraption allows you to do a lot of missions, pretty much uh, most of the missions, without the use of an extra motor. So you have to use it in creative ways though. And this falls under the category of trigger release, which pretty much uses gravity and rubber bands and tries to do a bunch of missions without with only a few amount of motors. So you can use this to a bunch of missions and complete more missions in one round. So now that you know what um, a one-way door actually does, you might be asking, well, how can I use it? And well, you can use it in a lot of ways and it's actually a very powerful technique and the hardest part is figuring out where to use it. So here is a direct example of using the one-way door. Here we want to take out this ring um, and bring it back to base, let's say. So we can directly use this one-way door technique uh, by just driving the robot in and driving it back out. And there we go, we just got the ring out. And we could just drive the robot back to base and bring the ring along with us. So. In this case, this is, you know, using the exact example of a one-way door and just putting it on the robot. And notice how in this case, we didn't have to use, we didn't have to use some sort of motor to hook it out. Instead, we just used um, the two driving motors that we already had. So that saves up the motor for doing other missions. So um, a more um, vague way you can use the one-way door is by picking up this loop. So to do this, we can use this sort of attachment. And essentially, this is just two one-way doors. We have the door here, and we have a stopper. So pretty much the same idea. You go in, you can't go out. In this case, we can, um, you, uh, we can pick up the ring just like that, and the ring won't come out anymore. And now you might say, well, you know, we're still using a motor to pick it up. And well, you actually have a lot more options if you use it this way. And this is because when, if we were to just use some sort of, you know, arm or stick that goes through the hole, well, it's, first of all, it's, um, you know, it has to be really accurate because the hole here isn't so big. Like, they make it purposely. And since it's a loop, you might think, oh, we usually we pick up loops through the hole. But if you do that, the stick has to go directly through the hole. And the, once you lift it up, it can probably it can fall out when you're shape when you're moving the robot around, and the ro motor has to stay in this upright position until you go back to base. Whereas if you have some sort of one-way door thing, well, it gives you a lot more options. You can make this as wide as you want, and that way, as it, long as it goes in, and as long as it can go in through this um, side here, you can pick it up. So this gives you a lot more options and you could pick it up um, really easily. You don't have to be that accurate to pick it up. Another upside of using something like this is that you can reuse that motor. Yes, you're using one motor, but once you go in, you can use that motor for something else because you can just you can go back down, go back up, move side to side, and the ring will not fall out. So you can use that same motor to do other missions and you don't have to care about this ring because you've already obtained it. So you can just move around. So there are a lot of different options you can do with um, one-way doors. And here are some examples. In this case, we're using an angled piece. And so it's it, the door is coming at an angle over here. In this case, we've got a flat line and this will be an up-down one-way door. And not only can you have the door be an axle, it can also have it be a beam. In fact, this is a very simple one-way door. Notice how all these one-way doors have a door and some sort of stopper on one side. That's all it is. And finally, one last comparison. In this case, we have a one-way door that has a very long door. And in this case, 
I have a small door. Now the difference is notice how let's say an object goes inside and gets locked inside. Now this object has to go all the way inside before it's locked. Whereas the longer the door you have, the less it needs to travel to be locked inside this little area. Like that.